Hi, Mary Joy. So this is part two of Kathy's song, A Closer Look. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look specifically at the solo at the very end of the song. It's very fun and it's very easy, and really the only part that's different from it uh, is a different emphasis on some chords and the first four chords um, in the bars of the solo, which um, we're going to be gravitating around G. So let's get started. We're still in Simon and Garfunkel's tuning. Okay, now we're all tuned up. Let's begin. Um, so really, the most melodic part of the solo comes in uh, right at the beginning of the last of last time through the song. Um, that part. After that just emphasizes the leading tones in the chords. So let's take a closer look at this pattern. Now, um, we're, this is all going to be based around our Simon G, which is just middle uh, ring finger on the third fret low E string. So if you see my hand here closely, so we have the thumb on quarters. And what's going on in my middle and index fingers, I'm just, I'm just playing with the D and the G string. And we're going to go G and E, E. So G and E, E, D, E, G, E, D, all open. And then you do the same pattern except you put your middle finger now on your 2nd fret G string. And then that last part is a little tricky, but we can get it. So, we know this. So, so once we get here, we, we now strum open B and G together. Open, open the E and uh, sorry E and open B. A quick E again, a quick G I should say. I'm thinking strings. So that part is very tricky. Um, I'll, I'll play it really slow and then we'll break it down. So basically what's going on is we have open uh, B and our G note on our low E. So I'm going to talk, I'm going to talk strings now since the only string that we're holding down is on our G string. So o open B and uh, E string, low E. So after that, we have this, E, G. Open G, <laughs> low G, and then high G, and then second fret, and then V. It's it's this uh, back and forth motion between the thumb and your middle finger. So. That's what we have so far. Ah, and we only have a little bit more to go. So after that, we only have two more notes, which is index finger on open D, and then middle finger on open B. And it's a very subtle difference, uh, or I should say, 
part of the lick, but it makes a big difference. It fills it out um, really flirt and makes the the part in the chord flourish. So all together we have slowly, very slowly, one, two, three, four. Uh, sorry, I messed up. <laughs> two, three, four. And then we have one last, one last D G, uh, E D G. Or I should say. E, D, E, G, string-wise. And both of those open strings uh, are D and G. I don't have any frets down. Second fret G, open B. And then we have basically the same thing. Emphasizing just emphasizing the higher notes. But once we get here, so that, there's 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 actually a mistake that becomes a beautiful flourish in this last part where Simon actually um, comes to yeah, that next G a little late, so the picking pattern changes. We actually only do the second part of our main picking pattern, so it would just be thumb index. Thumb index, thumb pointer. Sorry, thumb middle, thumb pointer. Um, just the alternating to outside in. So E string, G string, D string, G string. E string, B string, D string, D, D string, G string. Say that fast five times. Uh, so it sound like. And then it goes on to be the same. Again, emphasize that higher one. Come back. Now, when we get here, it's the same uh, dip, different variation uh, of that uh, picking pattern that we went over in the last video for a closer look, which is uh, the alternating uh, on the pedal of D. So, uh, string-wise, it would be thumb, thumb open D, index. Second fret G, and well, our our hand is in a basic D chord, so I'm not going to tell you uh, the fingerings because we already know this. Um, so just string wise and finger wise, it's thumb on uh, thumb on D, index on G, thumb on D, middle on E, thumb on D, middle on B, thumb on D. Index on G, and then thumb on B. Actually, we end with the index on G. We don't have an an, an extra uh, thumb on D after that. And then we end with a. And that's just, and that's just with our pinky on. Our, our third fret high E string with no other fingers down. So half of that intro, and then a strum all the way through, no chords left untouched. Actually, no, omit the A string. Cool. So I hope this helps, um, and this is a great song for us to be doing. Um, and uh, there's a lot to pick out from here, no pun intended. And I hope this helps, and I look forward to our next lesson. And forever, who, and forever, and forever, and for whoever else is watching this video, I hope this has helped you as well. Thank you. Take care, and have a great day.